Let's take a look at some of these videos here of, of takes on overcoming limiting beliefs. Let's take a look at this first video here. I believe this first video here was, uh, is uh, Alex Shamozi. There's three things that limit us, right? It's our skills, it's our character traits, and our beliefs. And we have deficiencies in each of these. And the difficulty is knowing which one is the biggest deficit at this particular moment. In my opinion, the hardest one is beliefs because my favorite quote from Orson Scott Card is, uh, we question all of our beliefs except for those that we truly believe and those we never think to question. Because if you really believe something, you never think to question it. Yeah, I also add on to this as well is, if you thought you were doing something right, then later found out it was wrong, when would you want to know? And the follow-up question to that is, if you finally found out that something you believe now is wrong, better question is, what are you going to do about it? And when? And so if you believe that throughout your life you've been told certain things and later find it was wrong, I know it's a shock factor, right? It was real, wow, I realized that through my living with, for example, the first living belief I recognize walking my faith is that the pastor isn't the one responsible for reading your Bible. You, I, we're supposed to be the ones responsible for reading our Bible. We're not supposed to just let the pastor pray for our family. Me, as a man, I'm supposed to pray for my family, to pray for my home, to pray for my school. Matter of fact, just this last Thursday, my wife uh, reminded me that uh, we had prayer for the kids. Uh, so we went on Thursday morning, we walked the football field and we prayed on the football field before the season began, before the first game. Then we walked into the locker room, we prayed for our children, we prayed for our son, we prayed for those who put on this helmet to play this dangerous game, this exciting game, this blessing from God game. I love football, but it's also a dangerous game to pray for injury proof, to pray for the conversation that happened in that locker room. I know how teenage boys are, I used to be that teenage boy, I still remember what it's like to bless our thoughts, the conversations, the exchange and dialogue. Pray for all that. Doesn't mean that some pastor is responsible for to do that. There's a pastor supposed to pray for your home. No, you, the man, you're supposed to be praying for your home. That was the first limiting belief I learned to destroy and grew through and pressed onto maturity in to not defer other people to outsource the faith life, the prayer life that I'm supposed to be leading. And when I don't defer those things, guess what? That translates into other things in my business, in my health, in my parenting, in my relationship with my friends, that I learned to lead, not just follow. See, that's what you're called to do, CEO. This is what you're called to do, sales leader, is you're called to lead. If you find yourself frustrated, ask yourself this question. Honestly, what is on the other side of this limiting belief? If I see a limiting belief, what is on the other side of me saying, I don't got it, I ain't got the money, I ain't got the resource, I ain't got the people. And there's a frustrating moment that goes through that, but that's a frustrating moment you gotta keep pressing through. Stop.